90% of Manua's strikes are from the stand. Oh! Alexander Rakic is currently the number three ranked light heavyweight fighter in the UFC. His next opponent is none other than former champion Jan Blahovic, who he will face at UFC Fight Night. Rakic has won six out of his last seven fights, and it doesn't seem like he plans on slowing down anytime soon. Let's get right into the video and take a look at this rising star of the UFC light heavyweight division, Alexander Rakic. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA. Rakic was born in Austria and started playing sports at a very early age. Rakic would often be too intense and too aggressive, leading him to be kicked off of the team. This led Alexander to start training in both boxing and kickboxing by the time he was 13 years old. Rakic racked up over 40 fights before transitioning to MMA and entering the European circuit. Rakic was able to achieve a record of 8 wins and 1 loss before signing with the UFC. Rakic's UFC debut would come at UFC Fight Night where he faced Francimar Bahoso and came out the gates with a dominant win via unanimous decision. Oh, oh, there's a punch for Rakic. He's decided. He's allowing the fight to continue. Rakic coming forward with a bit more intent now. Excellent work from Mark Goddard, knowing that that was a closed fist. To avoid that shot and land some counters. You know, it was a disciplined performance again from a new debutant in this uh, the light heavyweight division. After this, Rakic scored yet another unanimous decision victory over Justin Ledet at another UFC Fight Night event. At this rate. Beautiful work again by Rakic, controlling the ankles, allowing Ledet to roll and then circling round to the back. Wow, nice. One more show of strength in the last 30 seconds. Ledet is scrambling to his feet, but he may be too, too late. This is a really nice performance here from Rakic. And fans were starting to take notice. Rakic would then face Devin Clark at UFC 231 and score his very first knockout victory with the promotion. Rakic doing a good job of attacking that leg and then getting out of the way, sliding back. He's also doing a great job looking for that rear uppercut because you know Clark is going to oh. lunge it. He caught him again. Oh! Oh! Time is turned. My goodness, he's got... Oh, he's hurt. He's out. He's out. He's out. Tremendous. By this point, there was a lot of buzz beginning to swirl around the Austrian, and Rakic was just getting started. At yet another UFC fight night, Rakic went against Jimmy Manua and right away landed a head kick in the first round that knocked Manua out cold. 98% of Manua's strikes are from the stand. Oh! This won Rakic's very first Performance of the Night award in the UFC. After this period, Rakic would run into some adversity when he faced off against Volkan Uzdemir at yet another UFC fight night. Uzdemir out of the way and a nice shot. Catching the kick that time, dumping it for a moment. Rakic tries to stay aggressive on top. He would lose his first UFC match to Uzdemir by split decision. Some fans still say Rocket should have won that fight. We'll let you decide that for yourselves. After this, Rocket scored unanimous decision victories against Anthony Smith at UFC Fight Night and most recently, Tiago Santos at UFC 259. Nice counter left from Rocket. Flying the... With an impressive series of wins and performances, Rakic is finally set to face former light heavyweight champion Jan Blahovic at UFC Fight Night. Does Rakic have what it takes to take down Polish power? We'll have to just wait and see, but it surely is not going to be a fight you want to miss. Do you think Rakic has what it takes to beat Blahovic? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.